California drivers at their finest. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just finished morning cardio with Emily. Hi. It was great, we got in a good sweat outside. It's such a beautiful day in California. Feeling good, did about 30 minutes. So now we're gonna get the day started. What's going on guys? Just got back to the house, showered, we are all clean now, and current thoughts of the morning, don't underpack. I was like, yeah, there's so much room in my suitcase, I'm doing so good, I'm gonna bring like five tops, five pants, it's like X amount of outfits, I don't know, you guys do the math. It's like there's no need for you to bring everything like you always do, but I overpack when I go for like a week and then I underpack when I go for a month. What was I thinking? I have nothing, I have no clothes. I'm looking through my wardrobe that I did bring and just shaking my head at myself, so. That's my thoughts about underpacking. Just bring it all because then you don't need to stress about what you don't have instead of worrying about whatever, you guys get the point. Okay, so, underpacking sucks. <laughs> All right, so I did get asked a question about my current skincare routine, so I wanted to share that with you guys quickly because I actually did change a couple things recently, and I'm pretty happy with the way that my skin is looking too, actually. So since that question did come up, I'm more than happy to share with you guys, so I hope that you enjoy this. Something that I did change was adding in this charcoal soap. It's an all natural soap found at like the farmer's market or Rocky Mountain um, soap company or whatever. It's a charcoal soap. So what I'll do is I'll use this to take my makeup off and then I'll use it again with my Clarisonic. This is the Mia 2 and I've been using it for about two or three years and I really love it. It's just to deep cleanse your face like even more and get this gunk out of your pores and stuff like that. I feel like my face gets really clean, especially when I'm wearing makeup when I use this. So the main thing that I did change in my routine that I think has contributed to my skin glowing so much from like the inside out is this charcoal soap and I really love it. The next thing that I changed is I added in a toner. My client page got me this um, earlier in the year or last year and I started using it again. At first I wasn't using it because uh, it was drying out my face, but it's because I didn't have like a really good moisturizer that I trusted, so I'll get to that in a second too. So toners can dry out your face, but it's really good to get like all of the excess oil and just like junk off that the Clarisonic doesn't do. So this is an all natural one, and by all natural, I literally mean all natural. I don't know if you can read these ingredients here. There you go. So there's witch hazel, apple cider vinegar, lavender, aloe vera juice, literally this is all natural. She got this from a little store that's in her town. I started using this and yes, it can dry out your skin, but I use it on a cotton pad. And even when my face is clean, I still end up getting some like gunk on the cotton pad. So it's pretty awesome. And then I got some good moisturizers. I found this brand called Rensa. I ordered it online actually. And what drew me to it is that it's all natural. So this is the everyday serum. I like that. I put that on in the morning when I wash my face. And then this one is the night one. I know that the words are coming off, but I, sorry, I use this uh, anti-aging night cream for the nighttime. So to wrap this up, I added in the charcoal soap. I only use the Clarisonic at night before bed to clean my skin completely. Other than that, I'll use the charcoal soap during the day and then the Clarisonic at night, toner at night, night cream at night, and moisturizer during the day. All right guys, so just got to a juice bar that I'll be doing some work at for the afternoon. The girls are going to be meeting me. Be nice. the last member of our gang join us. There she is. I'm looking all cute. Look at your outfit. I basically just put a dress on because I had these sneakers on and I just got back from the gym and I didn't shower. Yeah. You're not supposed to tell them that. Yeah, but it's like a fake. I look cute, but I'm actually kind of gross. 
<laughs> Surprise! Surprise! So we have everybody here now and we all got our drinks. I got a greens drink that has spinach, romaine, kale, celery, and cucumber. It's called Field of Greens. I haven't been having too many vegetables since I've gotten here because I didn't go grocery shopping until yesterday, so definitely needed this. It's in a nice glass bottle too. And then I got a shot that has turmeric, orange, and cayenne in it. So Karen and I will be doing our shots. And Amanda made a little cocktail with sparkling water and her shots in it. Thank you, Seth. And some stevia. Stevia. <laughs> Cheers, girls. Cheers. Cheers, man. Yeah. Both of my shots. Life of a YouTuber. Shot class. Cheers, ladies. Oh, don't spill yours on Randy. <laughs> That's really good. So good. Okay, so update on the taste test for the green drink. It's not the best tasting one that I've had, but it, it is smell healthy. very good either. It doesn't smell very good, yeah. but um, it is healthy, and I feel healthier just drinking it. So, cheers to that. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning and I had a little bit of a sleep in today. I'm feeling really good. Definitely needed that sleep in. So I just made breakfast now. I'm going to show you guys what I'm eating and then we're going to get the day started. One package of Outfit, egg whites, and turkey bacon. I know that you guys like to see my food, but a lot of the time I have staples and it's pretty repetitive. So there's breakfast. But my boyfriend is eating a homemade walnut cake from his mom that I brought from Canada, which is so good. And this pumpkin spice cookie butter. What's your verdict on that, by the way? Uh, cookie butter? Not yeah. bad. Not bad, Not bad right? Yeah. Could be more pumpkin-y. Uh, I think it's pumpkin enough, but it's just... I'm it's not, cookie butter, so it's I'm good. not basic like that, so... Ooh. I give you permission to rip him apart below. <laughs> <laughs> beach and we are going to the one and only Whole Foods because I need to buy a overpriced salad at least once this week. Here we have a $16 salad. That does look pretty good though. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Good morning beautiful people. It is Sunday morning. Well, Sunday at noon technically, but that's okay. It's basically Brune, right? No way. Afternoon. Morning. Moot. Whatever. Okay. We thought way too hard there for a second. All right. So it is Sunday afternoon. <laughs> we are headed to a little farmer's market that is just a couple blocks over. So I'm excited to check that out. We have our greens drinks from yesterday that we're going to drink while we walk to the farmer's market. We are so California right now, babe. Just saying. <laughs> so I'm going to be drinking my Fifty Shades of Green. Give you guys a better look at this and check out the farmer's market. Let's go. Okay, this squirrel is like the weirdest thing, you guys. You do need Look how cute he is, though. Like, what are you doing? You know what? I'll send you that. He wants to be a dog. I think it's probably the so this one tastes way better than the other one that I had at the juice bar the other day, guys. That one was actually just a bad juice. <laughs> okay, so in my last video, I said that we were bringing a pint of roasted butternut squash and goat cheese ice cream over to Emily, Amanda, and Karen tonight, and Brandon, for them to try and see what they thought. I know that that ice cream sounds so weird, and believe me, when I saw it, I was like, butternut squash and goat cheese ice cream? But then when I tried it, it was like, 
a chorus was like singing. It was just like perfect harmony in my mouth, you guys. It's the best ice cream I've literally ever had. I'm this over to game night tonight with the girls and I'm gonna get them to try it and see what they think. You guys, this is literally life. And it's seasonal, so I'm sorry, but we got the last two. It is about 3, 3.30 and we just arrived at a community center. We're going to be playing volleyball. I have Emily and Brandon here. Yo. They Yo, are skating. Ooh, that's cool. Skateboard. My friend broke her wrist on a skateboard. When I was Maybe not. <laughs> so I just always have nightmares of that now. <laughs> so, and then we have Akko. They are experienced with the volleyball and I personally haven't played for like six years. So we just got to the community center and we're about to play some co-ed. See if I can brush up on these skills. Sitting this game out, we just got off the court. Emily and Brandon are still on the court, and then we're gonna get back in there. My forearms are so sore right now. They're really swollen, and my skills suck. At this point, I would say that I'm a newbie again because it's been at least six, six and a half years since I've been on the volleyball court, and like my skills are rough. They need some work, that's for sure. So it is a little bit frustrating when you used to be able to do something and you can't do it anymore, but it's just like anything in life. If you don't practice, then you're gonna lose that technique you're gonna lose that skill so instead of getting frustrated well I have been getting like a little bit frustrated I'm just um, trying to remember like how I used to do it and stay positive and know that this is just for fun and there's no reason for me to get all worked up and um, upset about everybody's here just to have a good time so remind yourself of that and even if you suck at something <laughs> that you used to be able to do just keep practicing and then the skills will come back so. yeah. <laughs> Post volleyball fruit cup. So good. The whole squad's got one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Looks so good. All right, guys. So here we are with the roasted butternut squash and goat cheese ice cream. And Emily is going to try. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. Like, this is actually the perfect bite. I would never have tried this if you weren't like making me do it. This is my favorite ice cream ever. You're going to love it. it smells interesting. different wow it's actually really good right yeah it's it, not my favorite ice cream ever but it's good it's so good it's, it's so surprising because I would have not ever picked that up butternut squash and goat cheese like who would ever that's think that really that's good. good I would eat probably the whole pint right yeah thank you really good. thank you <laughs> you tell by his face he doesn't think it's terrible yeah I know it's not terrible yeah is it better than you thought it's edible it's like it's good it's good. But mm -hmm. the only reason you're saying that is because you're like a candy person. He's it's, like... It's good enough. <laughs> um... Before oh. when you go to a party you want to... I'm gonna so up, gonna... Up, mm. yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is on Instagram and you say fitness, this Instagram... Is well, <laughs> what is it? What's it called? What's yeah, it called? Yeah, 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 Hey guys, I didn't get to record a proper outro for this clip, so I just wanted to say before the video was over, thank you so much for tagging along. I hope that you enjoyed watching this weekend's California adventures. I appreciate every single one of your support. I hope that you guys like what you see. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more, and I will catch you in the next one.